Major Foley here with the next level of the fantastic Cyberdam in Final Doom, the Plutonia Experiment. So yeah, we gotta kill four Cyberdemons simply enough, right? Yeah, it sounds simple. I mean, we got lots of cells. Yeah, there's plenty of actual hidden enemies, including my fun, favorite loving Arc Files. So yeah, they weren't kidding when they meant Master Marines. It pisses people off. And since there is no normal exit in this level, we'll go straight to map 32, go to it, which will be a pain in the ass itself. So, let's get, I'll move on, there's only 78 enemies, but there's lots of them, revenants, and we'll, lots of them will be revenants, and there will be plenty of rockets we get to deal with them, so we won't worry about too much on that. Grab the super shotgun, whatever resources you need, do I even have a chainsaw? Apparently I do. It's just been a while since I've used it. Uh, green armor for those who really need it, I don't plan on it. Alright, so a lot of these doors are closed until you hit switches, which will also inevitably trigger a cyber demon. So walk down, two arc files disappear, one disappears there, and you'll know an arc file, you're near an arc file area when they fire, so just... Yeah, unfortunately, these walls suck. You're better off using the rocket launcher. These switches are what trigger them, so be prepared for a fight. They'll also reveal some other enemies sometimes. I'll save that Mega Armor for later because we'll, we'll need it. There's number one. There's the Hell Knights. We'll come back for the Hell Knights. We want to kill the Cyber Demon as quick as possible because we don't want him blocking us here. Ow. Luckily, the Cyber Demons are in their cages. Try not to use rockets on these because, again, bosses from the games only really take half damage from the rocket launcher. Alright, now let's go back and finish those Hull Knights. Lots and lots of Hell Knights! Lots and lots of Hell Knights! Put some shells in them and watch them fall! Thank Christ. Alright. With that out of the way, let's continue on. So, more rockets. Two boxes each. Hit the switch. Plenty of ammo. Hit this switch. Which will lower, as you can see here, a door. So, we're going back up there. And this door is now open. Kill the spectres, and there is another cyber demon cage. This one should be at the front. So yeah, I try to keep it limited to three shots, three soul shots. I mean, yeah, it's a bit slower, but it conserves ammo. And cells are always like you're not always going to find them 100 pack cells. See, I don't mind the little delay. This one has a two-switch door system. Uh, be prepared. Take out your BFG. Two barons. Kill one. Kill the other. Hit this switch hidden. And this should open up another door again, back at the starting area. Well, our main stage area, I should say. See, we've already got 100 rockets, which is nice. So we'll go back here, here's the door with the chain gunners, and there is another cyber demon cage. And he's one on the right, so move. Again, closer you are with the BFG, the more damage, but that's up to you to take that risk. You can get him in two shots if you're extremely close. I'm pretty sure you can. I know the Cyber Demon can. Cyber Mastermind can. Oh. Again. If you got these rockets, go ahead and use them. I mean, I'm just kind of conserving them. Because I find that the Super Shotgun would just kill him faster. So there's a couple of Mancubus in here. Mancubi. Wah. Hit 
that switch will reveal that switch. Hit that switch. And we have one more area to visit back at base. This area. Nice and hidden. Final switch. With a couple of chain gunners. It's amazing how we've only killed 23 out of 78 enemies, hasn't it? through there. I'd like to keep 80 cells for the start of go to it. So go to it will have plenty of ammo and but no means we won't be leaving with the full Oh uh, we might because there like I said there is a lot of ammo. It's just how we how we use it and how because there will be a lot of cyber demons, spider masterminds, mancubi, arachnatrons and arc vials. So yeah. There'll be plenty to argue with. These are another two system door. It's annoying sometimes, but what do you do? Clean out the chain gunners. More revenants. There's only one secret, and it's in this area, I'm pretty sure. Won't be too hard to find. Of course, hitting these switches will let the demons out. It feels odd having an odd number when you normally use a super shotgun. Ow. Of course we can kill him with a circle or a chainsaw, but what's the point? So I hit this switch here. That's a secret. Easy, right? It's not really hidden. Ah, look, I don't have a number of shells anymore. So, let's get the hell out of here. And, as you can see, this is now risen up, so we can grab it. Whoops. Dropped by mistake. Grab it. This really isn't the exit. Lower it by running into it. And now you can hear the massive amounts of revenants. So, let's hide and just pick them off bit by bit. Missiles can go through that too, so just be careful. They can come down the stairs. Yep. Again, plenty of rockets at this level, so that's that. And that's where most of the enemies are. They are mostly revenants. Don't you dare try to whack me. So how many following missiles do you want? And that's 100%, well, everything, yet again. So there's some cells we can grab. That's the actual exit. Some more rockets. I better go grab that Mega Armor too, because I did say I was going to save it. For a situation like this, although I think at the start we get a Mega Sphere, but you know. The more we save, the better we are end up being. I still like listening to the music, this one. So, hit the, uh, the switch where the revenants came out, which would be this one. They reveal this, and we walk through. And that's the side of Den Dun. Join me next time for Go To It.
no one gets out alive. We will. Yep, there's this uh, mega sphere. So join me next time for go to it.